Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And yes, another exciting video with you guys. And today, I want to show you guys how to use the Unibeast and the Moti Beast uh, to install Mavericks on a PC laptop. As you can see, I plugged in a flash drive, 8 gigs or more. Uh, make sure you have the install OS X Mavericks installation file within your application. Now, this normally gets placed when you install it from the Mac store. Uh, as well as make sure you got the Unibeast and the Multibeast. The latest one from, uh, I believe the site is Tom Tony, Tony Mac X 86com uh, they normally have the latest ones. Just go to the download section of the page and just download it. Now, I believe you need to have an account. So the to become a member, it's free. So just, you know, register and get yourself the two copies and download them. I download them and I place them on the desktop. And uh, first thing that you need to do is open up your disk utility and we need to format your flash drive now make sure the flash drive that you are using is about 8 gigs or more okay it has to be 8 gigs or more uh, we're gonna go to the partition section and we're gonna do uh, for the layout one partition and uh, we're going to go into the option section and make sure that it's on master boot record okay we're gonna press OK uh, change the name. Uh, this is really up to you, but I'm going to keep it uh, real short and simple and call it USB. Now, the format. I believe the format should be Mac OS Extended Journal. That's the one that you want. And we're going to hit Apply and partition it. Now, the process shouldn't take that long. Once it's completed, you're going to see that your flash drive on the desktop says USB. I'm going to minimize the, DS, uh, the disk utility. And we are going to unzip our Unibeast. Uh, it's going to unzip it right on the desktop, which is pretty awesome. And let's double click on it and let's start uh, doing what we need to do. Now, the utility is going to do everything that it needs to do, all right? It's actually it's smart enough to go inside your application folder and retrieve the macOS file to install it with a flash drive. So let's pick our USB, the one that we just partitioned. And once that's selected, we are going to hit continue. And then from this section right here, well, this is really up to you. Now, we're, we're dealing with 10.9 Mavericks. And uh, I, I normally like to choose uh, legacy USB support as well as laptop support. And the reason why I like to pick legacy USB support and as well as laptop support is because the legacy USB support allows you to do legacy LGA 1156 motherboards. And for the laptop, for bootable USB drive, you know, the drivers for it to work with the laptop keyboards and trackpad, you need that stuff. So that's why I'm picking it. Uh, it gives you a nice little X amount of how much space you, it's required remaining. So we're going to hit continue. And once you're good, we're going to hit install. You're going to get a nice little dialog box to authenticate it. Make sure that it is all legit hit the install button and now this process takes a while guys it normally takes it between 15 to 20 minutes even though it tells you less than a minute so believe me it does take 15 to 20 minutes and once it's completed it's gonna give you a nice little green check mark and on your desktop you're gonna see that your flash drive is split into two mounts uh, and I catch you guys when that happens and we're back. So as you can see, it is completed. You saw that it's, it's split into two mounts, OS X install ESD. And you got the little nice little check mark, which I just closed it. And we're almost completed. Now, I believe in the next step with instructions at TonyMacX86.com, uh, they want us to open up the Multi Beast Mavericks Edition. And we need to unzip that and place that inside our primary drive. Okay, so let's close this and uh, let's double check this. I want to see what's in it. And basically inside the ESD is all the utilities that we checked, like the laptop drivers and as well as the legacy stuff. So let's double click on this zip file to uncompress it. And this particular folder, we need to drop it inside the root of our USB drive. Now, I kind of made a mistake here behind the scenes what I did was I actually 
uh, took the utility that's within this folder and plays it in the root. Okay. On this video, I kind of made a boo boo on this. Uh, I I shouldn't. Well, to be honest with you, you you could do either way. You can actually take the Multi Beast app and place it at the root of the USB, or you could take the folder because the Multi Beast utility is a post installation approach. Once the once the operating system is already installed, this is when you run the Multi Beast for it to finish it off and run properly. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video on how to. Uh, prep up a USB bootable drive. Uh, again, this is a many part series of showing you guys how to create an ultimate PC, and I catch you guys later. Peace out.